audience. We're seeing it through her eyes. And you really want the audience to be there and feel like this is a real vision of the future. How did you guys utilize 3D as a storytelling tool? So 3D does something that people don't realize it does. It puts you in the room with Alita when she bites the orange. You just feel you're there. It puts you on the bridge in the romantic moment. I think because you're invited into the world, you want to feel something. The interesting things always happen in the depth. So that's where 3D can really become a, a dramatic instrument rather than just a visual effect. It was just the fabric of the whole world was deepened and made more rich with the 3D. Were there any scenes in particular that stood out to you in 3D? What I found about the 3D, which I kind of love, was the small scenes in between. And just the depth there just made me feel like I inhabited the world. So it was less spectacular, perhaps, than I thought it would be. And more just immersive. It feels like an enhanced, an enhancement on yourself to really bring you into the world. Yeah. <laughs> this movie is meant to be watched in 3D, no doubt about it. What uh, Jim and I are so thankful for is the advances in the in theater presentation, the light levels that we're now pushing with the real D 3D systems, the true white screens, all of those things that gives you the experience in the theater. And I think that, that sums it up. It's an experience, it's an immersive experience. Years ago, people would say, I saw a movie. And now we want to say, I experienced mm -hmm. a movie. And 3D allows us to do that. It just puts you inside of this world and inside of her eye. It puts you inside of her consciousness. You get a, a true glimpse into this world and into Alita's soul.